Hello, crafty friends. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm here working on my Dollar Tree Junk Journal challenge being hosted uh, by Paper Terrace. All the information will be linked in the description box. So, here's my cover. I did finish it. And the one thing I was worried about is the glue showing through when it dried. And it did. So, I need to figure out how to fix it. Um, i seen Paper Terrace was having the same issue with hers. And she went around with some ink. So, I may do the same. It's really right here. Um, I used my puffy paint and I had did the little corners there on each side. And then for the, the butterfly little trail, I had done the same there. Uh, I also added some of the napkin. Um, it's all about the journey. I just tore it out and glued it on. And then I went around it with the puffy paint for dimension. I did some stamping. I stamped some butterflies on here. And then I stamped some in the inside as well as some uh, flowers. And then I used that ribbon that I have in my kit. And I put some down the spine and then on the sides of the pockets. Just I figured the ribbon would give it some extra security. Um, it took a while for this to dry. This bag is kind of slippery. So, yeah, that took a while to dry. So, I'm pretty happy with the cover. Um, I don't have a whole lot to work with. Um, yeah, I when I picked my items, I didn't pick, you know, a lot of things to embellish. I just figured I'd make my embellishments out of um, the wrapping paper, like fussy cuts and use the stickers and change the color up on the little flowers as I did here. So I have a question though. Um, are we allowed to use or count eyelets and then like our binding kit as a tool? Because I do have, you know, my binding kit here with, I have my awl and then the twine. I've seen some people using the Dollar Tree, tree uh, Baker's twine and I have that, but I didn't count it in my items. So I was just wondering, would this be acceptable as a tool and that way I can bind my my journal and if I can use my eyelets because I, I mean the crop crop dial obviously is a tool but what about actual eyelets if anybody knows let me know but in the meantime I'm going to work on something else uh, let's see uh, what did I do I went to the saw machine I used the strips of the craft fabric that I had in my stash. I used those. I ripped them. And then I went to the sewing machine and made ruffles out of them. I figure I can use these to decorate some of my plain pages as well as use them for tabs or tag toppers. I can just cut off what I need. So I've done that. And then also with some smaller strips. And also the string from the gift bag that I used for the cover. I tore some skinnier strips. I was thinking of possibly making a little tassel. And then I would trim it down. So that was an idea just for more embellishments. A few other things I was working on. I made some little clusters with some of my scraps. I have a pile of scraps here. And 
I just been layering them up. So there's some of uh, the gift wrap book page. There's actually a piece of napkin under there and another uh, piece of wrapping paper. And I just used my tiny attacher and stapled this one. I've also done it and added the little flower. And I just use my ink pad to color these up. I think I'm going to try my alcohol markers on these because I think that's what I did with this little yellow one. And then I used the puffy paint and just dabbed in the center of these. So anyway, there's another cluster. It has some of that computer paper that I used, I used the border. And then there's napkin, book page and wrapping paper, and then a flower. So I just made a few of those. This one, I added one of the stickers that I chose out of my stash. So I just added one of those. Just trying to get some things made that I can decorate. Uh, what else did I do? Um, I was playing with the book pages for pockets and stuff like that. So I made this little, uh, what would you call it? It's going to be a pocket, but it's, uh, it's going to have a little tuck spot in the back. I think I'm just going to adhere it on like right here and then it'll fold down. I added some of the children's uh, writing tablet in there for writing. Added some napkin up here to decorate it. And then what I did here is I made a little tab. I used another piece of the bottom of the gift bag. Uh, if you remember, I used this to uh, enforce my spine in my book so I just stamped on that I used my stamp kit the stamp set that I picked and just stamped some flowers and this butterfly and I just inked around the butterfly and I made a little like stopper type tab to hold this shut So, I think I'm going to take this to the saw machine, though, and sew around for some extra uh, details. So, I made that. And this was just a little pocket. Just I folded some book paper, cut a notch in it, inked around it. And I used one of the Hampton Art stamps and stamped on it. But I figure I could even add, to add color to it add one of these little clusters on that. I'm working with what I have, guys. Like I said, I didn't um, pick, I don't know. I feel like I picked the right things, and then when I look at everyone else's videos, I'm like, wow. I, didn't, You know, I have almost all that stuff in my stash, but I feel like I, I don't know. But it's going to be cute. I think it's going to all turn out just fine. So I made another little book page envelope type of little extra writing spot. Same thing. Um, I didn't put a little tab on this one. I may. I don't know. that. I think that'll be a lot if I added that. That flower's kind of big. So I may just leave this one. And I did stitch around this one. As you can see, I've added uh, pieces of that. This is the tissue paper. What did I say last time? Okay, because napkin is right here. This was a piece of the tissue, the gift tissue that I chose. So I used both on that one. This one here, I used a scrap piece of the wrapping paper. I used one of the stickers. I tore a piece of the gift tissue there. Those stickers are like double layered, so I used the second layer and just cut off some of the flowers and put there. Some more of the children's writing tablet, and then like I said, the gift tissue there. So I am going to make some more of these 
Um, I'm working on that. And then I've been trying... Oh. This is what I, I need to finish. So this is the cover to the children's writing paper. And I just took the scrap pieces and just like collaged them on there. I used some of the washi. I used the book page. I have a couple pieces of the fabric. Um, some of the wrapping paper and the gift wrap. And just randomly put pieces all down. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on. And then I'm going to cut it up into tags. And um, let me see if I can get a couple journaling cards out of it and some tags. And um, I'm going to sew around them. And I'm going to use those on my pages. So I just want to share with you what I'm working on. Because it's hard for me to video. And then yesterday I was trying to video when I, I was feeling horrible, but today I feel better. I've uh, been putting my pages together. Oh, and I pulled out some stencils because I am going to stencil. I have this butterfly stencil and I pulled this one. Um, I heard that the stencils are tools, so I'm going to stencil on some of these um, blank pages just to add some more to it so on this page here i just made a little booklet like waterfall type booklet i stitched it and then i glued it on and added some stamping so i wanted to um put something on the wrapping paper to make them a little more sturdy so I'm probably going to attach a pocket or something here or a belly band or something to help strengthen that book page. Here I just uh, tore out of the napkin the bike there and put it on that page. And I just, um, as far as paper, all I had was the writing tablet and the big... Um, uh, what was it? The uh, like doodle pad type of paper pad. And then that computer paper and the wrapping paper. On the edge of this wrapping paper, I added some of the washi. So like I said, I am going to add something to make these a little sturdier. I just cut down one of the computer papers. More wrapping paper. Now with this wrapping paper... I took some of the book page, like this is like the beginning and end paper in the book that I'm, that I got it. And this is one of the blank pages in the book. And I just did some stamping. But what I did is I stitched these onto the wrapping paper and it made it a more firm page, more solid. So, I mean, great for journaling on both sides. So, I'm probably not... I might add some ruffles to this. Like these I had planned on using on um, some of my pages. I just think that will add a lot and make it look pretty. So, that is what I'm working on, guys. Um... I'm going to go ahead and get some more done, and then I will come back and uh, add a clip of the finished items so you can see what I'm working with. All right, thanks. Okay, so I cut up my little collage master board thingy I use. I mean that I made using my scraps, and... I have a large tag out of that. I did stitch around all of these once I cut them up. I have two smaller tags. 
And then I have two pockets, one larger, and then this one here. I need to take, uh, put some glue on that washi. So I thought these turned out really cute. I really didn't need the writing paper on these, but I just did the whole back one sheet of paper. And then I have a little journal journaling card. So tomorrow I'll probably uh, decorate, decorate them. Did I show you these yet? Um, I did make a belly band and what I did was I fussy cut a bunch of the little flowers out of the side of the bag, out of the gift bag that I use for the cover. I cut out flowers and so this is a piece of the, uh, it's a book page folded and it's stamped. And then I just um, collaged some flowers there and I sewn a zigzag stitch through them and then a straight stitch around and made a little belly band that I can use to decorate uh, my journal. And then I did show you this one. I did ink around them. So this one here is going to be glued down as a pocket. And then this one here, it is a little envelope. So tomorrow we'll decorate these items. <clears throat> I inked around this one as well. So we'll decorate these items and... Um, yeah. That'll be tomorrow's video. Just working on some ruffles to use in my Donald Tree Jump Journal Challenge. Basically one of these so I can decorate some of those uh, plain page edges. And I can use these for clusters as well. I don't make them neat. I don't take the time to try to get them lined up perfectly. I like the messy look of them. So that's what I do. I just push it through and try to pleat it as I go. And then I can just cut off what I need. I've also been playing around with the back of the journal cover because I don't like the straight edge right here where the bike tire was or is. So I was playing with collaging some flowers, some more of the fussy cuts. And it softens the edge. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing is using a bunch of these little flowers. And just uh, 
Give them a collage and cluster them up around. Around here. I'm going to play with it. And I'll be able to show it to you tomorrow when we decorate um, the little items I made. I may make more uh, off camera, but I'm thinking it looks better like that. I may need to add some more, have more in here. I don't know. I just want to play around with that and see. But I think I'm going to go with a little collage of flowers right there. Cluster of them. And then it just kind of looks like the bike is parked behind the flowers. It kind of mimics the flowers coming out of the basket there too. So... That's it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Love to have you be a part of my small little crafty family here. Hit the bell notification to know when I upload a new video. And until the next one, everyone, keep crafting. Bye-bye.